the city of Yola. My town of primary assignment. The last place I ever expected to find myself. The city I now call my own. I was initially posted to Mubi to serve as a teacher in one of their private secondary schools, Mundra High School to be precise. I was rejected. Two weeks later, I was reposted to Jimeta Yola, where I now serve at an IT firm, V6A Technology Yola. It was my first time this far north, and I had come against the advice of so many people who were convinced I would die in my first month here. It's been three months now, and I still haven't caught a cold. Well, it's almost impossible here to catch a cold, considering the weather. We are like this close to the sun. As I entered the town, one thing was certain. I was going to be careful. Not because I feared for anything, but because I was a total stranger, and I needed time to blend in properly before anything else. As I started to report to my place of primary assignment and attend CDS gatherings, I met other core members and began to learn a whole lot about the town. The people here are friendly, but not very patient. Motorcycles are banned here, so the streets are painted yellow with thousands of tricycles, popularly called keke. Food is insanely expensive, and the cost of living is not any different from that of Abuja where I come from. In fact, I think it's slightly higher. Jimeta is a lot better than I expected it to be. The electricity is almost constant and the town is strangely beautiful with good tarred roads and street lights that actually work. Seeing all these made me want more. I wanted to see everything that there was to see in the town. So picking the first task for this project wasn't hard at all. I wanted to get to know my town of primary assignment better, to see as many city landmarks as I could, and to get myself familiar with the road, the transportation, and the people. I introduced my idea to a few other core members, and they loved it. The date was set, and we prepared for it. The day came, and we all gathered. Since I had people coming along who I didn't know personally, I made them sign indemnity forms. Nothing serious, just me saving my head from any unexpected copper wahala. You know what I mean. After documentation, the trip began. We started at a place called Sengere, just opposite the Modibo Adama University campus, and we hiked for approximately half an hour up the rocky landscape to a place where we could take some cool pictures. As we walked, we talked, and we got to know ourselves better. It wasn't a very long walk, but it was a fun one. We arrived at our mark and settled in to register our presence on top of the rock with some pictures. After that, we headed back down and proceeded to the main entrance of the Modibo Adama University of Technology, MAUTEC, formerly the Federal University of Technology, FUTI, Yola. Again, we registered our presence with a few snapshots and off we went to the famous Jimeta Bridge. As we took pictures on the bridge, our driver, under the influence of God knows decided that it would be a great idea to drive to the other side of the bridge and wait for us. None of us noticed this move. Now, this bridge is long, very long. When we saw our bus was gone, we knew we were doomed. 
So it was pretty much parade, resume, trekking. We all had to cross the bridge on foot. It wasn't funny at first, but trust coppers, we were busy taking pictures. After the bridge, we headed for one of the biggest churches in town, the Lutheran Christian Church of Nigeria, LCCN, where again, we registered our presence, this time with two people from the Council of Elders. We took a brief tour of the church before heading out to the Fumbina Palace Museum just beside the Modibo Adamas Palace, right in the heart of Yola Town. It was there that we were joined by our most noble local government inspector, Mr. Ahmed Boboy. Pictures were not allowed inside the museum, so this is all we got. But I promise you, it was fun. Okay, welcome to Fumbina Palace Museum, the valuable established in 2003 during the 50th anniversary of the late Learning to a new Mustafa. And the purpose for that is to show the people that are witnessing that location of the Paris University of the Lamido, the rich cultural heritage of Adam al And as you can see, uh, at the back there we have the map of Adam We saw artifacts dating back several decades, including a flag held by Shehu Usman bin Fodio himself way back in 1806. It was a long tour, but we were grateful we had it. After the tour, we registered our presence as usual with a few shots. Since the biggest mosque in town, the Lamido's Mosque was just next to the museum and palace. We took a few pictures outside it. We couldn't go inside because it was already time for the afternoon prayer and the worshippers had started to arrive. We were told to wait 30 minutes for the prayers to be over, but you know coppers now, they no green. After the museum, we headed to the famous Jeep Pujam at the entrance of Yola town. There are two sides to this monument. One says Jipujam, which means farewell, and the other says Jabama, which means welcome. We completely misunderstood the signs and we took pictures only with the farewell sign. It was still fun, Shah. After Jipujam, we headed for the Federal College of Education, Yola, and once again, we registered our presence. By this time, we were already exhausted. So we headed for the last point of our trip, the almighty Jimeta waterfront. This water is just River Benue passing by, and the water is said to stretch all the way to Cameroon. There was so much excitement as we approached the waterfront. Some of us were afraid at first, but when we saw boats arriving with smiling people on board, we too wanted to smile in boats. So we got life jackets, dressed up, and prepared for the rides of our lives. As we dressed up, our excitement grew even more. This was evident from our increasingly moronic kind of unnecessary statements. Fully kitted. Abdul, fully kitted. Fully kitted. Fully kitted. Fully kitted. The route was simple. We were going to a small beach-like island somewhere not too far from the shore, where we would alight and take pictures before returning back to shore through an alternate route. We boarded the boats seven to a boat. All of us scared to our pants. Some did a good job hiding their fear. Some tried too much. And well, some just couldn't hide it. And yes, there was that moment when the engines came on. What you I can swim, but hey. yeah. Are you seriously happy? I am scared, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the view of the famous Jimeta Bridge from the water was simply breathtaking, and the breeze was cold and pure. God, As we arrived at our mystical <laughs> island, that moronic excitement came back again. Yeah. yeah. Touchdown. 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 <laughs> We found a boat that was still under construction, 
climbed it and registered our presence on top of it. And then we boarded our boats and returned to shore. It was almost 5 p.m. and we were all exhausted, so this was our final stop. We all went home with fond memories. Days later, I visited the Jimeta Zoo with members of my culture and tourism CDS group. It was just as fun as an ice bath in Hamatan. My god. The aim of this exercise was to get to know the town well enough to feel comfortable in it. To know where roads led and what fun places to visit should the need arise. These aims have been wonderfully achieved. Now I can go about my business knowing that I am no more a stranger to the town.